More news. Messages found on a young girl's phone lead to the arrest of her mom's boyfriend. Records show the man told investigators they were jokes, then later said he knows how it looks. Looking further, deputies found even more. KTV News Watch 7's Adrian Witset joins us live. Adrian? Those messages date back to at least March 22nd of this year. And while they are not sexually explicit, according to deputies, they believe Darren McIntosh was in the early stages of grooming the girl for the future. And they found pictures to help support their case. Messages not meant for children. Can I slap that? I'm going to give you lots of kisses too. Hell, I may just even sleep with you tonight. A 10 year old girl's dad found them on her phone. Well, in this particular case, an alert parent was reviewing the uh, messages on the child's cell phone and saw these messages on there and immediately contacted law enforcement. Deputies arrested 42 year old Darren McIntosh for electronic child enticement for sending the messages to his girlfriend's daughter. This is an individual who is known to the family. Uh, at this time, we don't have any reason to believe that there are other victims out there. According to the affidavit for his arrest, McIntosh told deputies the texts were jokes and didn't see it as wrong when he sent them. When the detective asked McIntosh if he felt it was okay to joke about sleeping with a 10 year old, McIntosh said no. No, looking back, it's not. Prosecutors and investigators agree. They appear to be grooming in nature. Uh, I wouldn't uh, classify them as. Uh, Explicit sexual acts, but they have a they're sexually oriented and uh, certainly inappropriate. On top of the messages on McIntosh's phone, deputies found more than 200 images of young girls modeling. 87 of them, a girl seven to nine years old in a bikini, posing at a swimming pool, but not necessarily sexual in nature. Deputies also found Google searches for jailbait and links to at least 10 pictures of girls 6 to 12 in sexually explicit poses where their private parts were only covered by see through clothing. For now, Darren McIntosh is only charged with child enticement. Chief Deputy Tom Wheeler says this case proves how vigilant parents need to be when it comes to technology and their kids. I think it's important for parents to be aware in reviewing their kids' phones, see what they have on there. Prosecutors tell me they will continue to look at the possibility of bringing additional charges against McIntosh for those images and links on his phone, but that is still under investigation. He heads back to court for a preliminary hearing next month. Back to you. Thanks, Adrian.